Hey guys, welcome back to Press Greenhouse. Hey, it's been a little while, but I'm glad you're back with us. Um, we have a job today for the girls. We need to replace some hinges on their kennel doors, uh, but we got a lot of things to do before we can get to that. So I thought I'd bring you all along with us today, kind of show you what's going on here on the farm. Lots of hungry critters this morning. Good morning, boys and girls. Ready for breakfast. Hungry boy. I don't know if it's the same for all you guys, but it seems like when it comes to feeding time, our animals all hate each other. So we have to divide them up and separate them so that the one won't steal the other one's food. A lot of hay here. Your barn better be full. Did a short little video on these guys the other day, um, putting them together and it's worked out real well. Except for this Holstein's kind of bossy and cranky. So we, we got some self-locking stanchions, just put these in. Just turn this little rod and it catches her stanchion whenever they reach down to eat. So uh, that holds her in there so she doesn't steal Valiente's feed. So our hope, and another reason for the stanchions, we're hoping to, to get her in and, and, uh, and start milking her a little bit. She's not tame by any means, so we got a little work to do for that, but that's the plan. She's got a calf on her, but you feed a Holstein good and she'll produce plenty for you and the calf. Hey girls, these girls here have been on strike I've been molting. We haven't had an egg in probably three or four months. Getting a little discouraging, girls. Let's see if we got anything today. Nothing yet, but it's early. All right, get to it, girls. Come on now. Okay, she doesn't like this, but this is part of the, the feeding routine. She has to let me pet her for a minute. We're working on calming her down. a girl. It's all right. Take it easy now. Yeah, we're going to make a pet out of her. Trying to keep her from killing us when we start milking her. Yeah, you're all right. I want to show you guys how these stanchions work too, real quick. Uh, that little notch right there, when it's set up like that, when they reach down in the stanchion, they push this over. And when they push that over, that little lever here drops behind the notch. So, it's the same width from top to bottom then, and they can't get out. So then all you have to do to change that is just turn the rod down and now she can get out. And she will. <laughs> Come on girls. Come on. Let's go feed. Attaboy.
せやな、ね。Oh, you've made a mess. In the process of training these girls to reach down, they're still trying to learn these stanchions, so I put the t r o b s in here. To make it up just a little bit higher for them so they don't have to reach down as far, but several of them have got the hang of it. There has been about seven or eight of them reaching through pretty good. I usually give them, you know, there's Three or four that just refuse to, one of them including the bull, but he's got one blind eye, and I think he's just a little bit nervous about it. So I'll let them all get in here and get to eating, and then I'll pour in a little bit for them. I think I've got a cow with a calf up the hollow. We may take a walk up there and see if we can find it. I think I just heard her ball. Come on, boy. There comes the mama. I don't see the calf. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a walk up here and look about this baby. I'm hearing it ball now. Unless they're in a bad spot, they normally don't do a lot of crying. We'll see if we can find it. So we're always a little nervous about new ones. Brush cutting on yesterday. You guys have watched some videos with me in the past, starting to clean up the brush here. And I've kind of worked my way back this hollow here. It's coming together pretty good. He's pretty good at finding them, but I won't dare let him bother it. There it is. Let's see if I can show. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, Boone. Oh, that baby's got pep. Come on, Boone. Let's go. Been following the channel very long, you know that my daughters have a pet sitting business, and we built this building for them a few years ago. Have some kennels on the back. Occasionally, the door hinges will rust and the pins will break off. So we've replaced three or four of them, and right now we're needing to do that. So the first thing we need to do is measure the hinges. Not really a the best way in the world, probably, but it's how we do it here. I found it to work pretty good, and it's cheap, and it does work, so. But we need to measure these hinges here. Looks like they're three and a half inches, so what we'll do now is we have to come out and cut these old hinges all off, and then uh, weld the new ones on. So we'll get the torch, we'll come around here, we'll cut those off first, and we'll just go from there. For some of you guys that have never used a torch, this is acetylene. You never want to turn that valve on all the way. Just a few turns is plenty, and that way if you get a fire, it's easy to get that turned off. Water hose right here handy just in case, and we watch this, and we'll be here for a while, so we'll watch it really close. Before we get started on that, man, do I love battery-powered tools. Lately, we have about switched as much as we can over 
We just got a, a DeWalt saw and Trina just loves it. So, goodness sakes, the technology's gotten so much better. I'm, I'm switching over to a lot of them. Okay, so we're just welding these half inch pipes here. Something I've learned is that uh, magnets are definitely your friend <laughs> when trying to hold something in place. Okay, well, that uh, didn't work out too good. We had a little problem with the tip on our little MIG welder here. Uh, looks like it's got stopped up. Uh, the wire is stuck in there, can't get it out, tried drilling it out, and that didn't work. So we're going to go down to the barn and see if I've got another tip. And when I get back, we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. So that's what's happened. <laughs> that's where we're at, and it's kind of the way that it goes sometimes. So I'll go see what I can come up with be back. All right, we were in luck, believe it or not. Had two of them, so hopefully we'll get back to business. they say you should never show your welds on YouTube and I got broad shoulders <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot better welders out there than myself right, we just get her cleaned up a little bit and get ready for some paint, you know, there's very few welds that's so bad that some good paint can't cover it up. Make a good weld out of it. Just like downtown. All right, guys, it's a big reveal. Let's see if this works. It's gonna be embarrassing if it doesn't. We set the hinges right on top of each other. Latch goes through that hole. So that's really the critical part that that lines up. What I've got is a couple of bolts. Let's see if she opens up nice. Perfect. Bolts can't come out when that latch is latched because the door can't raise up or down. So you're good to go. So I'll top them off with a little bit of paint. All right, look at this little guy. This is why we had to fix the door. This is a cute little puppy that the girls got to watch for a few days over Thanksgiving. Isn't he beautiful? He's checking old Boone out. Him and Boone get to be buddies. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't know what to think. He's coming back in. It's too cold out here for him. Yeah. All right, I guess that wraps it up here for us today. That gets our little kennel hinge rebuild project done for Haley until the next one breaks. So I uh, appreciate you guys coming along with us. If you like the content, I'd appreciate you give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you like, and we may start doing a few more of these daily type videos if you guys, uh, if you guys like them. So you let me know there in the comments. I appreciate it, and we'll catch up with you on the next video.